there's a king, a very wealthy, great king. He had four wives. And the fourth wife is the one he loves the most. So finally he falls sick and the sickness is terminal and he was dying. The doctors have told him you're gonna die and he knew he was dying. He was barely holding on. And he was frightened about the afterlife. He didn't want to go lonely, he didn't want to go abandoned. He wanted at least one of the four wives to accompany him. And then in his heart, he wanted the one he loved the most to come with him. So he told the fourth wife, please, this is the only thing I want you to do for me, go with me. So the two of us will remain and marry and keep uh, an afterlife so I don't become lonely and dejected there. The woman said, what? It's not possible. I cannot go with you. My love for you does not reach that level. And this is the woman where he, he invested buys of gold, cars, all kinds. She, you know, that's the one he spent most of his money on. So he said, okay, I also like the third wife, so I can manage, I can do with that one. He went to the third wife and said, come with me. That one was more broad. Blunt, just told him. Yeah, let me be honest with you. The moment you die, I'm getting married. I'm married another person. Do you spend millions on spoils this? Third wife is pretty, very attractive. He said, Let me not lie to you, I'm not dying with you. Forget about that thought. I mean, I've already even made plan. I'm getting married to another person. I will belong to another man. He now went to the second wife. He also took care of the second wife, not as much. He said, please. Second wife said, to be honest with you, I love you. And I can promise you one thing, I'll, you can be sure I'll do it. I'll make sure you get a very good barrier, I'll be there. I'll make sure. I will even cry because I will miss you. But immediately after barrier, I'm moving on with my own life. You have lived your life, don't come and tell me to die with you. At that moment, he was now hopeless crying, but he heard the voice of the first wife saying, I'll die with you, I'll go with you. And she was the one he neglected while he was frolicking with this younger wife. She was the one, and the guy started crying and weeping. He said, I'm so sorry. I wish I knew that you are like this. He said, you married me first, and I'll remain true to you, and I'll follow you to the grave. He said, I wish I can take back the hand of the clock. I will have spent on you, I will have. a lesson from that man's experience. There is a lesson from it for all of us. Because all of us have four wives, but you don't know. You might not even be married and you're wondering, Pastor David, who are these four wives or are they four girlfriends? fourth wife that he loved the most, he pampered the most, he spent, is this your body? Check where most of your money. You know if you print your account every year, at the end of every year, you will see your value system, what you put first. By Your value system is measured by where your treasure goes. It's a way your treasure is, that's where your heart is. You know what you love most by what we don't need to talk to you ladies how much you spend on your wardrobe just that hair you wear how much you spend on what you wear in your in your skincare product and all the rest of them 
that's this first one. Well, guess what? It's not following you to the afterlife. The grave is where the separation occurs. So this one is returning back to earth where you collected it from. She's going back to her parents' house. And you are going to have to make that journey. Yeah, that's where you are making most of your investment. The second wife, and the third wife, that we love so much, usually very attractive, is our material possession. That one has already made plan to get a new husband. Because you brought nothing into this world, you are taking nothing out. The moment is over, all the, those things belong to somebody else. Sometimes you see, I wish some of you, you know, some rich men will be raised from the day to see how their wife is, with the new boyfriend is now wasting the money you spent all your life. She barely finds a boyfriend or finds whatever. And what you see what your children are doing somehow, why, what they do with the money. And you did not prepare for life hereafter. All of these companies and all of these cars including the clothes. Of course, in my case, my boys are not waiting. Not why am I alive? They're already measuring all the shoes. You know, when they feet, they are collecting it. I say, no problem. Those are the least of my concern. The second wife, and many of us pay less attention to her. But she's more loyal than this other one. It's our family. Our family. And usually, the only thing they, they will attend the burial, cry if need be. Some don't even cry. Before you go, they are already fighting over your possession. we neglect and yet that's the one that you are taking along with you is your soul is your eternal destiny you feed this one three cost me this pampered one you feed that one one cold snack a week you feed this one three cost me a day this one that wants to kill you you feed that one, one cold snack a week. But it's only on Sunday you come here to hear the word. You don't have time to study your Bible. You don't have time to invest. And you are not making investment, not only in your spiritual development, you're not making investment in eternity. Naked came I into this world, and naked will I go. You met everything here, you are leaving all of them here. You are taking nothing with you. I don't care who you are. And I pray that the Nigerian politicians and leaders of society across the continent of Africa and the world will hear the voice of God today. The opportunity you have to transfer wealth is through the impact you make in the kingdom of God to advance his kingdom and the impact you make on your fellow human beings.